All right. Welcome everyone. We are going to have a diamond door contest between Spooty Biscuit and Revel Eyes. Uh, both of our racers have at least one match under their belt. It looks like Revel Eyes had two. Uh, Spooty has a record of 3 0, the best win of 554, and average win of 607. Revel Eyes with a record of 2 and 4, best win 529, and average win of 626. So, uh, a faster best win for um, Rebel Eyes, but uh, Spooty's going to edge him out on the average win. My name is Tic Tac Foe. I will be your commentator for this race. This is Diamond Door, so our racers will be uh, racing the character Diamond, which uh, moves diagonally, which makes this uh, these races really, really fast, <laughs> if you couldn't tell from uh, the times I just listed out here. But... Um, our racers are looking to uh, win some races in the match here, obviously. Um, they gain a point for each win, and then the racers with the most points at the end of the week will be over on ELAD Difficult's channel tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern for uh, the Diamond Door Finals Tournament. Make sure that you are following ELAD Difficult as well. And uh, we'll get in there. There are a few more races today as well. Um, be sure to check the schedule link. And you can see who is racing next. I believe there's another one in an hour. And I believe Spooty has another race tonight as well. But check the schedule for that. Nah, it's, uh, it looks like two hours until the next race, but... There are still some races to catch up on here before uh, the weekend. All right, we got our seed entered in. We're ready to get this match underway. Are you Rudy for Spooty or ready to watch Revel Easy 3-0 some nerd? We're underway. Early red bat room with an obsidian longsword in there. So there's quite a good uh, starting weapon there for both of our racers. You're going to see them using it to their advantage with that three extra damage. You can open uh, barrels and crates in zone one here. Uh, there's also a shriner right in the uh, mini boss exit room. We're going to grab some money before checking out that. It's got a boss shrine, uh, shrine of rhythm, and a shrine of thinky thonk. Spooty's going to blow it up. Uh, Revelize is going to follow suit here. We're going to get that heart transplant and some type of ring. Let's all kind of figure out what this ring is together. It's not ring of gold. It's not ring of peace. Uh, ring of strength or war, it looks like. Uh, Spooty did four damage to that red dragon and is down to 1-3 already. Revelize is going to pick up that similar uh, build, but did take some heart damage there. So I was already down to one heart, which can be pretty scary with this character. Uh, <laughs> moving diagonally, you can move right into a big swarm immediately. So let's keep a close eye on that. It looks like Revelize and Spooty picked up some bombs there. Spooty's going to get the value bomb with a food shop and a map. So really good find for Spooty here. Um, and a bonus shop has a, a monocle in it. Well, Revelize takes on your Zone 1 boss, Coral Rift. Going to get that flawless victory and check probably the purple chest here. Uh, oh, it's the Ring of Becoming, so hard pass on that. We'll see if Spooty saw that as well. We'll see Spooty go for the red chest, if anything. Thank you, Rattata, for the host. But Revelize picking up uh, some glass. Uh, looks probably in a glass shop here. Glass shovel and glass armor. Will be protected from that one hit and taking a trap door down to 2-3. It looks like uh, Spooty chose for black and got the uh, Squega suit. That's pretty amazing. Um, I suppose Monocle told him that, so that's really good. And finding a Courage Shovel as well. And headed down to 2-3, and Spooty has caught up. Both of our racers, <laughs> for a moment, we're on 2-3, but Revelize is down to your Zone 2 boss. It's going to be Death Metal. Taking a hit there, there goes the Glass. And uh, we'll have to do a little bit of protection here. Falls victory for Revelize as Spooty enters the boss room. Checks purple chest, finds a ring of war. So going to switch off of that uh, ring of strength, get a little pushback. Spooty checking red chest, getting a uh, ham or a little extra protection here. So really, Spooty just needs to be in with striking distance of Revelize here. As uh, we go through the zones here, swarms are going to be way more possible. And uh, Revelize can only take like one hit. 
Who's diagonally into that uh, trap door though and is down to 3-3, um, three, three, which looks like Spooty's already done with. Nope, just kidding. Spooty's down to 3-3 three, three, and it does look like Revelize went down there. I'm assuming to a Clappa there. And Spooty's found himself in a bit of a swarm as well, but does have that armor and ham and uh, is into your deep blues fight. Let's see what happened to Revelize there. Went down the trap door, took care of it just fine. And then I imagine jumps into a big swarm here. Yeah, some clap is coming. Oh, diagonal slime. Unfortunate death there. Hard to keep track of when you're moving that quick. Spooty did get the flaws victory on Deep Blues. Did not decide to get any of the uh, chests and will be moving on. Doesn't really need anything else. It has a pretty solid build here and gonna add a potion to it as well. And this uh, first loot's probably gonna go to Spooty here. I imagine Spooty's gonna go as quick as he can though. A lot of our racers still try to go as fast as they can because uh, Condor Bot keeps track of who had the fastest run. So uh, try to get them bragging rights in there. Oh, took a big hit there though. Uh, was on goo, but uh, ate the ham. So got most of our, look at him just cut through this level here. It's just straight diagonal. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> had to deal with uh, the mini boss room at the end there, but the straight diagonal down to your zone four boss is gonna be fortissimal. Uh, unlike Cadence or Melody or Aria, uh, Diamond doesn't really have, doesn't have to fight the Necrodancer um, at the end of this fight or the Golden Loot. Uh, just has to fight the uh, Zone 5 variant of whatever boss is left. And you can see Spooty's just taking, tanking all the hits here. Um, has the potion in tow here, so can just really use that health for speed. Trying to get a sub 5 minute, I'd imagine. That'd be pretty hot. Still has one more uh, floor to clear here. And there goes that potion. Sub five is still possible. I don't remember what boss we're facing here at the end. It's gonna be King Kanga, so that's gonna slow things just a little bit. And there goes the sub five. Can get sub five in game, maybe? Gonna blow up the throne and get a couple hits on Kanga here. Oh, whoops, stopped the timer too early. <laughs> About 5.12 uh, race time there. That's really good though. And uh, it looks like he's gonna, that's gonna be the fastest um, of uh, the week so far. Takes Condor Bot a second to get in here, but yeah, Spooty has taken over the fastest run with a 513. GG. Speaking of fast, let's check him out on that 4-3 cut through again. Just going straight diagonal here. It's really good. <laughs> taking hits, setting bombs blowing up. He got a little stuck here in uh, the mini boss room, but really impressive cut through the middle there. DG. But this is not a best of three. Um, our racers are going for a point for each victory here. So Spooty has scored one point. Um, Revelai is still looking to make some uh, noise here. Does need to probably win out here to have a chance at uh, being in the tournament tomorrow. Keep a close eye on Revelize's play. But after that, uh, that throw down right there, it's gonna be hard, hard to keep up. We have our next seed in here and we'll get going. Lots of bat closets, three bat closets. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, Spooty's just gonna reset because that's ridiculous. No one wants to deal with that. I did just try to peek in them to see if one of them had the chest. Looks like they didn't, so we'll be moving through. Oh, this red bat closet does, it seem. And it's a red chest, it's a glass torch, so not a great item. It's gonna give Revelize some mapping here, but uh, he's gonna just take it off right away. I guess diamond starts with the base torch, so. Yeah, glass torch uh, will pretty much aggro everything to you, even the invisible enemies, so it's a good skip on that. Both of our racers finding a stack of bombs on one, two, and a blood shop as well. Um, not a great blood shot. Spooty's gonna switch out to Infernal Torch while Revelize checks the lock shop, finds a magic apple. Gonna get an additional one red heart here if he uses it 
right now and doesn't take a hit. Might be waiting to use it on the stairs to save the beat, save the frame. And looks like Revelize is going to get a value bomb here, getting uh, the Minotaur and the Blood Shop. But I, I'm assuming Revelize saw the uh, Blood Shop over on Spooty's side and is just going to skip it. But Spooty is down to your zone one boss first. It's Deep Blues. Going to see third lane strats as we take him out with the dagger. Revelize switching to the Torch of Foresight and did eat that magic apple, so has uh, four hearts here. Flawless victory for Spooty. Going to check that black chest, and it's a Titanium Rapier. Really fast weapon. And Revelai is going to spend the time here to uh, get the Leprechaun. The Leprechaun kill, as Spooty will as well. So both of our racers feel lucky. Won't have to deal with bats as much here. Revelai is down to that Deep Blues fight. Going to get the bomb off and uh, get the Flawless Victory. We'll get that Titanium Rapier as well. Uh, Spooty in a Transmog shop here is going to Transmog for that Shovel of Courage. Really fast shovel, even on uh, non-diamond characters. And is really going to start to push the lead here as Booty's already down to your zone 2 boss as Revelize just gets down to 2-2. Two, two. Going to be Death Metal. A tap and then a lunge for the bonus hits. Well done by Spooty there. Going to get the Flawless Victory. Checking the uh, purple chest for double luck on that Ring of Luck grab. Has some time here to check the shop and Spooty's going to do that. Finds a map, a uh, carrot for a heal, and um, his glass slippers. Imagine Revelize is going to want to grab that as well. Maps are always super helpful, but um, it's going to help Spooty even more having that lead. Revelize checking red chest for the ham. Spooty found a glass shop and got a uh, glass armor to protect that hit. And there's the map pickup for Revelize. Spooty taking a trap door, finishing the mosh pit in 3-3 and already down to the zone 3 boss mosh pit. It's going to be um, uh, Fortissimal. Revelize trying to keep pace here, finds that same trap door, and uh, makes up a little bit of time there. Well, never mind, he's in 3-3. Uh, <laughs> getting caught by this swarm and being pushed all the way back. Uh, Revelize is going to lose a lot of time here looking for that trap door. Does find it. And we'll be down to your zone 3 boss as well. Spooty already moving through zone 4, though. Uh, about to kill the 4-1 mini boss. Trying to get to that sarcophagi and finish out this level. Down to 4-2. Flawless victory for Revelize on uh, Fortissimal. Going to skip those boss chests and move right on into zone 4. Needs to set up uh, some uh, catch up here to get on uh, Spooty's level. And Blade Master's covering his stairs is not going to help. Uh, just one level behind here. Revelize on 4-2 with Spooty just getting into 4-3. But using that diagonal movement again to go right to that mini boss room. Take out that mummy and, uh, ooh, took a hit there, but Ring of Regen helping out. Down to your zone four boss. Spooty is going to deal with uh, Coral Riff as Revelize deals with 4-3 uh, here. Using a Tell Monkey to skip a lot of those enemies there. That was really good by Revelize. I don't know if it was planned, but it looked real good. Taking a few hits as well, Revelize on that exit door, but does make it down to the zone four boss. Spooty checked the red chest there after the flaws victory and it looked like a war drum so going to leave that behind in uh stead of that uh shield tome revelize having a difficult time here looks like he did get hit down to half a heart but the uh, ring of regen going to bring that up to a heart and a half as we go down to zone five but spooty has quite a commanding lead here it's going to take uh, a lot for revelize to catch up here let's see if he can do it though getting pushed back by the electric ball does make it down to 5-2 as Spooty's down to 5-3. Going to use that Shovel of Courage to dig right through the walls here. Finds a uh, arena, but there's nothing in there he wants. And is going to go right for those stairs onto the Zone 5 boss. Going to be King Kanga again. Spooty's just got to get done with this fight. And we'll take that second loot. Revelize down to 5-3, though. Going straight to that exit room. Going to take out this Red Dragon. Oh, did Spooty won. <laughs> I looked over at Revelizes for a second there, and Spooty had already won. <laughs> GG. It's hard on the uh, the clock for Diamond. It's so fast. But let's check out that Telemonkey that Revelize did earlier here in Zone 4. 
on 4-3 here. He gets a, in a little bit of a swarm, but uh, jumps on that Tell Monkey and just goes past all those enemies. Really clean. But we have one more race here in this match. Spooty's looking to 3 0 Revelize. Revelize trying to get that one point yet. See if he can do it. Once again, there are more races today. If you guys want to check out the schedule, I believe there's another one in like two hours. And then Spooty has another race tonight. But definitely still uh, some Diamond Door matches to be seen. Make sure you are checking those out. And tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern on ELED Difficult's channel, we will be having the tournament for Diamond Door Champion. You also check that out as well. Be lots of good races and matchups for sure. I was thinking of that too, Tough. I think, yeah, Revelize is already out of uh, the playoffs here. Revelize only has two points to their name now. And three points is not going to be enough. So a race for pride, if anything else. Spooty's already down to 1-2, finds a bomb. It's always nice to have an additional bomb on your route. And there's a peace shrine here. Uh, we're going to grab the Ring of Peace using that extra bomb right away and down to 1-3. Imagine Revelize will do the same. Ring of Peace really strong on any character. Gives you that extra heart container and uh, makes your mini bosses uh, a tier down easier. As you see a green dragon here in the mosh pit for the zone 1 boss, it's going to be Coral Riff. So you throw bomb or do you just go up there with diamond? I don't know diamond strats. I don't play diamond, but it looks like we're just going to save the bomb. Revelize down to that mini, or to Coral Riff as well. And Spooty did end up using that bomb anyway, so uh, going to check the black chest. It's a obsidian bow. Which is good for the damage, but uh, the range can be kind of a problem. Uh, can definitely get caught up on enemies. Revelize finding that same bow and down to zone 2. Immediately to the boss, Spooty finding a trapdoor down to 2-3. <laughs> Straight sniping that bat in the mosh pit. That's pretty entertaining. Uh, find some ham in the 2-3 red chest. So a nice little boost in uh, health insurance there. Oh, diamond can't throw. That makes sense. <laughs> That's fair. But Spooty's down to the zone 2 boss. It's death metal and it's already dead. Falls victory, checking that black chest again. It's a glass rapier, so Spooty trying to go faster, I'd imagine. Um, I imagine this weapon is not as safe as the obsidian bow. Let's see what Revelize does. Revelize going to check red chest, and it's an infernal torch, so a nice little torch upgrade. And Spooty's down to 3-2. Uh, Using that glass rapier to take out all these enemies in one hit. Down to 3-3. Three, three. And here you can see Revelize getting caught up on uh, some kills here, but a three-space diagonal shot on uh, that boss. Wow, that was really nice by Revelize too. Catching right up there. The Spooty into uh, the Fortissimal fight, but Spooty did get the flawless victory. Checking Black Chest again. It's a uh, glass uh, staff. Not going to take that this time. But Revelize did make up some time there on... Uh, 3-2 and 3-3. Revelize checking red chest, finds a uh, war drum. And Spooty gonna switch off to the Obsidian Cutlass, a really good find. I imagine that weapon's super safe on Diamond. Can even use it to push forward. Revelize is gonna switch off to it as well. And then <laughs> that diagonal cut through zone four, it just looks so cool. Ring a piercing uh, on 4 2. It looks like Spooty's gonna stay on the piece. Uh, that's the correct call. Piece makes uh, most of these zones pretty trivial. And Revlai is still maintaining about one floor behind here as Spooty's uh, entering the 4 3 mini boss room. It's quite
quite crowded though, so uh, gonna take out that green dragon while getting a pixie kiss. Really well done. Revfly is spending some time here in uh, an arena. Not sure for what. This is a blast helm, it looks like. And getting telemonkeyed all over this floor here, kind of losing a bit of time as a Spooty Biscuit is cleaning up the zone four boss. Deep blues. Checkmate. Ball is victory. Skipping the chests, moving right into zone five. And uh, into this deep blues fight for Revelize. Using that war drum to get the flaws victory. Well done. Down to 5 1. Just as Spooty enters the mini boss room. Easy two hits on that green dragon, and we're down to 5 2. Diamond's like a real fast character. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of where everyone is all the time. It's pretty fun. But the metronome going down to some electric shots here for Spooty, and Spooty's already down to 5 3. Just as Revelize gets into that mini boss room on 5 1. Looks like Spooty's in the command again. Take the loot for this uh, seed into your zone five boss. King Kanga again. Is King Kanga always your uh, <laughs> your diamond zone five boss? Revelize down to half a heart here, trying to keep pace, taking some damage. Does make it down to five three. And there's your Kanga kill for Spooty. 457. Four, that's going to be the next fastest, actually. <laughs> so really well done by Spooty, taking that match 3-0 to zero over Revelize. I do want to show again Revelize going through a 3-2 and 3-3 here. Saved up a lot of time uh, sniping this bat right here and then going straight to the uh, Banshee. That's where Revelize made up most of their time there, but... That's going to be it for that match. Uh, Spooty taking it 3-0 to zero over Revelize. Hope you guys did enjoy that.